Hi guys, in this video I just want you to go through how you can change your Photoshop theme um, to have custom colours like this. Uh, there is some, in, prefer in Edit Preferences and Interface, uh, you can change the colour theme here, but it's just monotone ones, like a dark grey, light grey, white kind of colour. Um, but if you want to get custom colours like this, the, like the green, I'm just going to show you how now. I didn't know this was possible until I saw um, Benny Productions' recent videos where he's got these kind of like green borders. Uh, some of his vid videos are sponsored by Razor, so he's got, he kind of changes it to be Razor Green, uh, for example. Um, but you can see it in action here. Um, and the way you do it is very simple. If you go into your file explorer, um, and then if you just locate to where your Photoshop file is saved, if you go into this folder, you can then go to uh, required, and then uicolors.txt here. Uh, what you're gonna do is you wanna copy this to your desktop, uh, just so you've got a backup in case you kind of mess it up here. Um, but then you're gonna wanna load this up in a text editor, and then you'll see that it's got um, just a list of kind of items on the UI and their color codes. These, in, these codes are RGB um, colors. So uh, this is the red value, green value, blue value, and then an alpha. So that's kind of the transparency of it. Um, but for, there's a lot of different options in here and I'm still, I've only just discovered this, so I'm still having a play around myself. But if you press Control F um, in Notepad and go to um, Elevator, uh, you can change this color here. So I've just put, I don't really know what each of the lines do. I know that each one's a color, but I don't know what the difference is. Um, but for example, I've put them all to sort of zero and then on this third line here, I've put it to 178, which when you make a save, when you make a change in this file, if you just uh, file save and then close Photoshop and reopen it, that changes the scroll bar. So if you want to change the kind of widget buttons, uh, kind of the stroke and the buttons here, um, you go into the UI colors.txt and then come into uh, widget button stroke. Uh, that's the strokes around the buttons. Um, so I just use the exact same uh, coloring scheme again there. Um, and then with and then widget stroke, that's just gone around these kind of borders here where you can like enter numbers um, and the kind of buttons here as well. Um, I'm still trying to work out how you can get this to change on his video uh, when he clicks a layer. The highlight is kind of like a, just a faded kind of green color. Um, there'll be one of these options. I'm gonna give it kind of another look, but yeah, I thought that might be relevant. People might wanna know how to do that. So that is how you do it. So again, that's in your, wherever you've installed Photoshop and then uh, required and then UI colors.txt. But yeah, and as I said, just remember to copy that file away, sort of like to your desktop, just in case you mess up and you wanna go back to the original colors, you can do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you found that useful. Bye.